Hi there, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the mass percents of potassium, carbon, and nitrogen in potassium cyanide. Take a look, we're gonna find the mass first and then we find those percents, watch. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write the elements I see. So we got potassium, we got carbon, we got nitrogen. Next is then take into account the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. So if you don't see any numbers down there, it is assumed to be a one. So we got one potassium, one carbon, one nitrogen, easy peasy. Now we're gonna multiply by the mass of each element where are these masses found? You guessed it, periodic table. Mass of potassium is 39.1, carbon is 12.01, nitrogen is 14.01, so we're gonna write them on in. All right, so this is 39.10 for potassium, carbon was 12.01, and nitrogen was 14.01. Now to find the total mass of the element in the compound, we're gonna simply multiply the row on across. So this is 39, 39.10, total mass for potassium, carbon is 12.01, Nitrogen is going to be 14.01. Man, I hope the math in this class works out to be like this all the time. And then we're simply going to write, isn't that what you're thinking? And then we're simply going to add up the entire column here. So this is going to be 65.12. You're probably like, well, actually, what I really was thinking was, why am I even doing this? Yeah, I agree. And there you have it, right? That's the first step of the problem to find the total mass of the compound, which we have done. And now what I'm going to simply do is add a column to this table to help us calculate those percents. Bam, so to find the mass percent of potassium, we're simply gonna take the total mass of that potassium, so we're looking at this column here. We got 39, eh, let me make that a little smaller, 39.10, and we're gonna divide it then by the total mass of the entire compound, 65.12, and multiply that by 100. That is a simple percent calculation, part over whole times 100, all right? And then we're simply going to solve that, so that's gonna be 60.04%, easy enough. Next, we're gonna do the same thing for now, uh, carbon, right? So we're going to take the total mass of that carbon there, 12.01, divided by 65.12, times that by 100, and we're going to find the percent of 18, let me make that a little neater, 18.44%. All right, easy enough, that's carbon. Last for oxygen, uh, no, not oxygen, nitrogen, is 14.01, we're going to divide it by 65.12, the total there, multiply it by 100. You see how nice and simple this is once you have a structure, this table creates structure. Structure is very important when learning something. Anyway, um, if you add them all together, it should work out to be 100. And that's what you got on the question. All right. Hopefully, I, you, I want you to get that on the test as well. All right. So keep doing enough practice. That's what we're trying to provide for you here. Problems that you can practice on your own. And then you can check the solutions or you could watch how we do it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Check out our channel. We've got thousands of problems out there, not only in chemistry, but physics and mathematics. We've got more subjects coming. We'll see you soon.